So for this question, um, there's a few things in it. You've got an ellipse here, you've got a parabola there. They're the main two things. So you could start with either the parabola or the ellipse. Um, we're going to start with the ellipse. So we find we look for the major and minor axis first. Major is 130. Minor isn't given. So you see what are you given? You're given the focal points. So 130 and the focal is in 25. So I'm going to start with that. So in the middle of the page, I'm going to draw a line. A line down across. On this, I'm going to make a line 130 long. Half 130 is 65. You can bisect that if you want, but you don't have to. And I'm going to, from there, I'm going to put my major circle on that. So major circle is such a compass to this. And swing it out and around. Like so. So all of the focal points are in 25. So if we've got a focal point here, F, and the other one's the same, 25 as well. And we we want to find the minor axis. We walk backwards. Usually you get half the, ma half the major, you put it on top and you come down. We can't put it on top because we don't have the top, so we get half the major, which you have already set. You put on the focal and you come up. Like that. So half the major, put on the focal and come up. So that now is our point. So from that then, we divide it up, divide it up normally and get your points on the, on the curve after that. So divide it up using a 40-60 set square, which is way up. Not gonna go over how to draw an um, ellipse. If you, if you can't remember, have a look at the video on the files, and it goes through it. So that's what I'm absolutely flying through this. So we've done it. We've done it a lot already. So this is your ellipse going around like this. Try and take a time drawing. I know I'm not. I'm doing it very quick. But there's a lot of marks for, for drawing the ellipse. You can actually put all this in light at the moment because there's some of it coming out. I'm just putting it a bit heavy so you can see what I'm doing. So this is your ellipse, you do the same on the bottom. What we have is we've got a tangent to it from a point directly above F. So that's the next thing, a tangent from point B. So to do a tangent, you go from this focal and bring a line up. You go from your focal which is over here, and we draw a line as well, I'm going to put it in blue as well, then we bisect, we bisect this angle of the other angle. So bisect an angle, you set your, put your compass on the point B, set it to anything, swing an arc, and move it a bit, then put your compass on this point, swing an arc, put your compass here, swing an arc, and where they meet, we join this back to B and just bring it on. So that is your tangent. The tangent goes 20 past the center line. So come over 20 past the center line, bring this up. So go some down. Down to that. So to show you that again, a line from F should be, the line from F1 should be your compass on B, swing an arc, put your compass on this point and this point, swing another arc, which gives you an X, you join that to the X to the centre, come up 20 and come up. So that's the first part. The next part you've got a parabola, which is 50 by 60. So 50 out, bring line up, 60 up, so 30 and 30. So 
this is the vertex of it. So we need to divide this into 4 and this into 4. If this is um, so if this is 60 here, this is 30. You could, if you wanted to, divide that yourself. Um, I just do the division lines. So what it says, draw a line here at any angle, any length. Get your compass, set it to anything, and come out here four times. So four point, we'll join back to here. And then from there, we'll just form the set goes. So the set's going to leave it, and we'll move this back. That gives you four points along this edge. So the same on the side here. We divide this into four, so bring the line from here anyway. If you want to, uh, no, no, you don't. You, you could do it by, by maths if you prefer. I'm just going to do it the same way as the previous question. So a line there, any angle. You join the fourth one to the corner. You bring this down. That gives me four lines, four points across here. Bring these across here. So if this is the vertex, we call this point one, this point two, this point three. Skip the corner, call it one, two, and three. So one, two, and three was joined to V. So this one, two, and three already joined to V. So this one joins to B here, two joins to B, and three joins to B. So where the lines one crosses the lines one, what is this one crosses this line one, or this line two crosses this line two, and what this line three crosses this line three, that points on it. And that's your the top of the problem. You get the bottom, you bring these points down. You could do it the same way as you've done the first one, but this is a quicker way of doing it. It's as if the centre here is an axis. It's like your axial symmetry. You get your compass, you put on the axis. You set it to the point that you have here. You turn the compass around. I just move it a bit. Turn the compass around. That's the point. Put the compass on the axis. Get this point. You turn it around. You find it there. The same thing on this one. And then you join these up from here, here, to there, back to there, to finish off. So I've left out the bottom of it plus the eyes and the mouth, but um, you should be finding those yourself.